Hey guys, it's John from Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and welcome back to the channel. We're going to do today in wrestling history for September the 11th. But first, I wanted to say that we will never forget. We always remember the uh, terror attacks that uh, happened on 9/11. I was in the seventh grade when it happened, and it changed the world. And be with uh, be with the victims. Rest in peace, may they. And but anyways, getting started on this day in 1995, WWE Raw and WCW Nitro went head-to-head -head for the very first time in the now infamous Monday Night Wars on Raw. The newly uh, turned heel British Bulldog took on Razor Ramon, and Shawn Michaels defended the Intercontinental title against Psycho Sid. Uh, on uh, Nitro, Hulk Hogan defended the World Heavyweight Champion against Lex Luger, and Randy Savage faced Scott Norton. On this day in 1997, WrestleFest 50 Years of Funk took place in uh, Terry Funk's hometown of Amarillo. The event was promoted as Funk's retirement match, which lasted less than six months. The main event uh, saw Funk take on the WWF champion at the time, Bret Hart, in a match refereed by uh, Hart's first professional opponent, Dennis Stamp. The build to the match and the match itself was a uh, key storyline uh, beyond the match documentary was released uh, the following year. Yeah, I remember you see, I I remember watching that as a kid when it came out and Dennis Stamp was, he was mad at Terry because he wasn't on the show and he wasn't booked and he was just jumping on a trampoline. That was just the craziest thing I ever saw him jumping on a trampoline. But anyway, on this day in 2000, WWE Commissioner Mick Foley began his investigation into who ran over Stone Cold Steve Austin the previous year at Survivor Series. Also, uh, also uh, Kurt Angle took on Test and Albert in a handicap match. Lita defended the WWE Women's Championship against Ivory in the main event. WWE Champion The Rock teamed with The Undertaker and Kane uh, to take on. Teamed with The Undertaker to take on Kane and Chris Benoit in no DQ match. On this day in uh, 2000, uh, wedding bells were in the air on the go home edition of WCW Nitro for Fall Brawl as David Flair was set to marry Stacey Keebler and Kevin Nash was forced to defend the WCW Championship against Scott Steiner with special referee Booker T and special enforcer Goldberg. On this day in uh, 2001, a taping of SmackDown due to, the, uh, due to be held in Houston, Texas is canceled as in the aftermath of the uh, terrorist attacks. That took place in New York and Washington that day. A few days later, they rearranged the show to be uh, the first mass gathering of people in the USA uh, after the attacks. It would be one of the finest hours in WWE history. On this day in 2006, Lillian Garcia sang America the Beautiful to kick off the Go Home Edition of WWE Raw for Unforgiven from Madison Square Garden on the fifth anniversary of the events of 9-11. John Cena teamed up with Jeff Hardy and Carlito to take on the WWE Champion Edge and Intercontinental Champion Johnny Nitro also and also Randy Orton, Mr. McMahon went one on one with Triple H in a no holds bar main event. On this day in uh, 2010, Mike Shaw, known as uh, in WWE as Bastion Booger, died at the age of 53. And that's going to wrap up today in wrestling history, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell.